All right, guys, so when you just get done um, taking your uh, leaf springs out of a vehicle, uh, I don't know what it's like in other states because I'm from Wisconsin and Wisconsin just got a ton of salt on the road, so salt equals rust. So what happens is when you want to take leaf springs off an old vehicle, they're always rotted in. The bolt is always rotted to that bushing around it, so it doesn't come out. Yeah, you get the nut off and you're like, oh yeah, the bolt will come out. Then you beat it with a hammer, it doesn't move. So you got to torch the bolt off on each side, and then you end up with a big old globbery mess like this. I don't know if you can see it too great, but you understand. So the problem is, like, how do you get it out? You know, some people have presses. Um, some people do a lot of different things. Some people use like a ball joint press. Uh, you can do that, but if you have two things, um, a lot of people have, that you can get these out in like a minute. I just did the other spring, same thing. One of them was just kind of rotted tight, so I had to torch the bolts off. But the first thing that I do is I take a torch, not a little handheld, not a torch like this. I'm talking oxygen and acetylene torch. And all I do is I fire it up and I heat this middle pin up till it's pretty hot and then so it's pretty much like burning that rubber on the inside. So I'm going to do that right now. So get your oxygen, set your acetylene till you get the little blue cones. And then I just kind of heat this up in the inside what you can do is give it a hair more acetylene that'll heat it up faster pretty much the goal of this is to get that rubber hot And then you just leave it sit for a little bit. I usually let it sit for about, till it burns all the way out. Cause you can see I have a flame there. And then I'll be back when it stops burning. All right, so I'm back, it's done burning. You can see the rubber's kind of sticky. It's still smoking a little bit. And then the next tool that I use, an air hammer. Um, I'm not sure what brand this is. It's my dad's, we've had it like forever. It's probably like 400 years old by the looks of it. Looks like something from the 1600s. But uh, yeah, the one thing when you're looking at air hammers, I don't recommend this spring type that holds this in, because this thing, it sometimes it flies out and that's kind of dangerous, but at least it's flying away from you. But someday I'm gonna upgrade to the one where you pull it back and then you slide the bit in, but this will work for now. You can see what kind of bit I'm running. All you do, once it's hot, you hold, you hold the leaf spring down with your foot, you get in here, inner pin slid right out. And then, I'll grab the camera here. You see how the leaf spring, um, you see how it's got that little part right there where it's kind of open? You grab the air hammer and you put that flat bit right in there and just chisel it through so you're pretty much splitting it, splitting this inner, inner metal liner all the way through. And then you start working your way around a little bit and it should hammer out super easy. I don't know about you, but I would much rather spend a little bit of time and heat it up and then pretty much make it a cakewalk to take one out or dick around with busting your Busting your balls over trying to use a C-clamp and a big old ratchet. This is a lot easier in my opinion. So I got it split all the way through. Now I'm going to just hit it on the edges a little bit and fold it over. Yeah, then I got it wedged. Now I look like an idiot. There you go.
go. And that's how to get a bushing out the easy way. So there you go, bushings out. You see what I mean here? Uh, you just slice it down the center there and start folding the edges out and they come right out. Quit wasting 10 minutes using a press or some sort of other crap when you can just use an easy little air hammer. You can go pick one of those up at like Harbor Freight. They're probably like 30 bucks. And then if you absolutely have to, you could probably use one of these torches. It would take a lot longer to heat up, but sometimes if your bushing's rotten enough, you could even just maybe punch it right out with that air hammer right away. I tried it on the other one without heating it up, and it didn't work as good, so. Yeah, there you guys have it. Easy way to get your bushings out. So now it's time to repaint these springs along with my others so we can fit them on the front of the truck.